I don't get it. If I capture a legendary Pokemon, I become a champion. But if I do the same thing in real life and throw a mountain gorilla in my trunk, I get arrested. Pokemon Red and Blue were released in 1996. Eight years later, they remade them into Fire Red and Leaf Green? They couldn't call it Water Blue because water isn't blue. I picked Fire Red because fact, in a fight, a pile of leaves would be destroyed by a pile of fires. The game begins with Professor Oak introducing us to the world of Pokemon. Completely unnecessary in 2016. Even undiscovered tribes on New Guinea were playing Pokemon Go. Name. We need a cool name. What's the name of the hero in the movie that by now is mostly known as a theme song? Angel Eyes. Can't call an 11 year old girl Angel Eyes. It's very inappropriate. I'll just call her The Bad. Name your rival. I, I can't name him The Good because <laughs> that's a girl's name. Desperate times, desperate measures. We start in a room and just got back from the insane asylum. Why do I assume that? Because who places the TV in the middle of the room like that? Our mom tells us that all girls dreams of traveling. Wink wink. Th thanks mom. If you want us to leave, just say so. Outside, Professor Oak stops us and says, If you go out there, you're gonna get your face ripped off by purple rats. I would give you guns, but I feel like you're old enough for your own Pokemans. He lets us pick between three Pokeballs. First ball contains... Uh, is empty. The second ball has the water type. It's a mix between a turtle and a squirrel, so no thanks. Now a tortoise and a badger. That's ah, a real fucking Pokemon. That leaves me with the one that can't be let indoors because his tail would set off every sprinkler system. Also fill up these Pokemon encyclopedias for me. Remember it's not child labor because I'm not paying you. You fill the Pokedexes by catching Pokemon. Simply step on the grass, then a Pokemon... Oh... This is awkward. Uh. Well, now we know who the ugly is, huh? The goal of Pokemon Red was simple. Beat the gym leaders, beat the Pokemon League, get stuck a lot because you don't speak English yet. In Fire Red they have added extra islands. That are terrible. The first gym leader is Brock. He was a main character in the cartoon. Hanged around with kids and was obsessed with Pokemon intercourse. Interesting fella. His gym is a rock type gym. In the series Ash beats him by setting off the sprinkler system. Remember what I said? So that was a freebie. After he is defeated we gain access to Mount Moon and here for the first time we encounter Team Rocket. Team Rocket in the cartoon were mostly these two immortal beings and a cat that could speak Swedish. Yes, I know in Japan he spoke Japanese, in France he spoke French, and in Mexico he spoke Mexiconian. But Team Rocket in the game kidnap Pokemon. I, I guess we all kidnap Pokemon and take them away from their families. But Team Rocket also has a uniform. That makes them way worse. They don't scare me though. In Ruby we fought environmental terrorists. Here we take down dog nappers. I feel like mass extinction is a much bigger threat than Cruella de Vil. In the cave they aren't even doing anything illegal. They're just trying to extract a fossil. But we stop them anyway and take the fossil for ourselves. Making our character an anti-hero. Leave the cave and reach Cerulean City and the Cerulean City Gym, led by Missy. She has water types and was a main character, so she should be undefeatable. But then I remembered an even more main character. Pika Pika, motherfucker, hire a better agent! Everyone in this town is talking about a weirdo named Bill who lives to the north. We meet up with him and he tells us that he's been turned into a Clefairy. Bill? It's obviously a fursuit. No reason to lie, mate. Be yourself. He gives us tickets to a cruise in Vermilion so that we will leave his house. But the road to Vermilion is blocked by an evil building. The only cop in the country tells us that this house has been robbed and the culprit is standing there. So he's either pretty brave or very stupid. Definitely stupid. Welcome to Vermilion, and there's the ship! The cruise is very different from the real world, where a cruise means gambling and drunk 50 year olds hitting on you. On this boat, people don't lock their cabin doors, so someone can steal their stuff. Oh no, not this guy. He needs to realize that we are not rivals. Do you think the US Armed Forces main rival is Iceland? We go to the top of the ship and we find a seasick captain. After being nice to him, he teaches our Pokemon how to cut down trees. Captain. If you don't teach everyone you meet this, maybe we can save the rainforest. We can now cut down the tree blocking the city gym. 
So let's light it on fire. Yeah! Uh-oh. Didn't beat the gym, but on a charred corpse I found the badge, so I won. On my way to the next gym, Harmonica finally evolved into some sort of dragon-type Pokemon. We come across a cave called Rock Tunnel. So a cave. As you can see, this cave is quite dark. You can get light, but that's cheating. 20 hours later, we made it to Lavender Town, famous for not having any lavender. There is a Pokemon graveyard here. Oh, you are challenging me on a grave. Clint, get your shit together. Walk through an underground tunnel, Celadon City, and there's the next gym. So let's go gambling. Who gives a flying fuck about the Pokemon League when you're a millionaire? If you think it's weird that they allow an 11 year old into a casino, remember in the Pokemon universe the drinking age is 9. And they have infants in the military. Many, 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 and I'm bankrupt. Not proud of the following moments, but I went berserk and security showed up. I crushed him and he fled down to the basement. I have no reason to go into the basement of a casino. Unless... I am finally becoming George Clooney! Time to get my money back! Ah, damn it! It's just an underground base for Team Rocket. I think the security system would be better if I didn't have a bird's eye view. Then you're in an elevator and get to meet Giovanni, the leader of Team Rocket. Did you just destroy my hideout for no reason? I mean, I'm a gangster, but you're an asshole. Destroy him, leave, time to fight the gym. It's a grass gym, so it's pretty one-sided. So while I'm in there, let's talk about how amazing Digimon is. So there's an episode, they're in like a city and there's a bunch of famous buildings. Then a robot dinosaur blows up a building. And then these cucks gave the Nobel Prize to Dylan. Life is not fair. That was the most epic Pokemon fight ever. Next gym is in Saffron City and it's a psychic gym. W wait So when I say psych ward, people complain and say it's called the mental health hospital, Killian. But she's allowed to call her gym psychic. How can someone be so insensitive? To hell with you. I am skipping your gym. So we take the cycling road down to Fuchsia City. Here they have a poison type gym. But none of the trainers have any poison Pokemon. I think this might not even be a real gym, just a way to scam kids. In Fuchsia City you can also find the Pokemon Safari, that encourages their visitors to throw rocks at their Pokemons. Would be a shame if someone contacted every single Pokemon rights group. To buy my silence, they give me the surf ability. I can now travel on water. To get to the next gym we have to walk through this ice cave. All Pokemon caves are either annoying or soul crushing, but this one... This one is both. It's also the home of the legendary ice bird. Someone told me that the legendary bird's name are 123 in Spanish. Well, I'm sorry Spain, but if you call one Articuno, you need to update your language. We made it to Cinnabar Island, but its fire gym is locked. Let's explore this crumbling mansion filled with burglars. Probably safe for an 11 year old. In the basement we find the key to the gym. But my main Pokemon is a fire Pokemon. How can I beat the fire gym? Oh right, I forgot. The main weakness of fire is even more fire. Then the Pokemon furry shows up and takes us to the island. But it's a complete waste of time so we leave. Time to take on the Pokemon League. R right, I didn't get the Saffron City gym. Oh god, I'm going to have to meet this guy again when I return. This is so embarrassing. In Saffron City, Team Rocket has taken over a skyscraper. And apparently SWAT has decided to outsource this job to an 11 year old. Wait, I'm in a corporate skyscraper full of hostages that has been taken over by a crime group who is definitely East German. Okay, last part might not be true, but from now on I am the bad McLean. yippee ki Mr. Falcon. Oh no, not this douche again. I am 20 levels above. You. We find Don Giovanni, he's like three times my size and could probably knock me out in one hit. But he challenges me to a Pokemon duel. Like challenging a stingray to swim instead of chess. I rescue the CEO. Because I am rich I can give you anything. I want 50 million Pokemon money. And he gives me a Master Ball, the cheap bastard. Last time I got a Master Ball I apparently used it wrong and some comments got annoyed with me. Don't want to make the same mistake again so I'm going to toss it. Leave the building, time to face the mental health gym. No, it's not right. I'm going to help the patients. What would Jack Nicholson do? Uh, 
And now I have the badge for some reason. We are not done yet. There is a secret gym that has been locked this entire time. Who could the gym leader be? It's Don Giovanni. What a twist. Mate, I completely destroyed your entire criminal empire because they were in my vicinity. Do you really want to battle me? No. Didn't think so. Finally, now you can pick between doing two things. Either challenge the Pokemon League, or you can use your Pokemon to try to reclaim the Holy Land. I picked the Pokemon League because it's closest. First travel victory road. I'm back now. <laughs> Oh god, kill me. Then there's a cave. I think Game Freak said that they put this cave here because they were worried that players were having too much fun. Then finally, the Pokemon League. In my last video, I overtrained. This time, I will challenge the Pokemon League right away. The first monster is an Ice Trainer, and I lost. I lost. All of my Pokemon left because they were embarrassed. Even the Pokemons in my PC left. No. Wait. A Bulbasaur named Luke Skywalker, of course it is. Well, little buddy, you are a new hope. But you have to train first. Cue the music! Hey Digimon, hey Digimon. Monster friends to the boys and girls. Hey Digimon, hey Digimon. Champions of the digital world. Hey Digimon, hey Digimon. Level 100, I'm back, baby! The Pokemon League was a challenge, but finally I made it to my rival. We did it! Yay! Professor Oak shows up and verbally abuses his grandson. Post games you can do quests on the islands, but that's a massive waste of time. And then you can catch the legendary Mewtwo. And now that I have him, I can finally delete this guy. And that's the Killian experience.